like I was telling you guys earlier, um, hey, let me see here. Um, these watches here, um, that they had at uh, Walmart in Prescott, Arizona, were all on sale. But anyway, here's the thing with these watches, none of them fit right, okay? So they're all like really big. And you can adjust here, you know, that's like called a micro adjustment. But what happens is when you adjust this, um, if you adjust this and move this pin over here, it just moves it to there. And then this thing kind of closes really funky. It sits on here and it like wants to stick up. So um, the easiest way to deal with this, and I'm going to show you guys how to remove the links on a cheap watch. Okay. So first, I have like a pointy thing here. We're going to push that pin and release <laughs> that. Now we're in a position where we can actually work on this thing. Okay. So you'll see these things here. Okay. They're marked with little arrows. And these are not solid. So these here, you're gonna come in here like this, okay? You're gonna push on this and you're gonna force it out. I've seen people use a tack, but and you, and you get a booger up a screwdriver or whatever you choose to use to do it. They're really hard to get out. And once it pops, you'll hear it pop. And the thing come up like that. And then if you got something really small, just get underneath this lip right here. For the love of God, do not grab this thing with a pair of pliers like the guy was showing you. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter, but you're going to booger it up. So see that? Okay. Now, take this. And we gotta peel our plastic off the back because it's on here. Okay, but look. So now you've removed it and you can go ahead and pull that out. So now we need to remove the rest of this. So to remove this link, we gotta remove that also. So we'll come in here. Push it down. Okay. All right. Yeah. We heard it go pop. Okay. I try and keep everything all in one spot. Okay, now comes out like that. So, I believe what this is called is the folded link. Now, this particular one here is from this link. So, I'm gonna leave that one there. And then now, I'm gonna take this piece here and I'm going to slide that into there, okay? Now, I'm gonna take this and carefully get it in there. And then, you would want to use something to force it in there. 
Um, do I really want to beat on it with a piece of metal? Uh, anyway, so so you could use something like a piece of wood or whatever, and then. Uh, Sometimes it just doesn't want to go in, so you might not have it lined up correctly. They make a little special tool for doing this. It doesn't look like a block of wood, <laughs> but that's going to stop you from marring up the surface. So. You want to count the links. One, two, three, four. There's four removable links here. There's usually one, two, three, four. Um, they will usually have the watch off to the side. So, um, basically, um, usually you're gonna have to remove one on each side now with this watch here I don't know if the other one had that many links in it so technically right now it's even we have we count the links there's one two three four five six seven eight one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's actually nine links on this side, but there's one, two, three, four. There's four removables, and there's four removables here. So this one here has one, two, three, four, four uh, non removable. One, two, three. So there's a difference in the other links. And on a band like this, these links here will be a different width, maybe the first two or three. Um, so, um, you can size up the watch and see if it fits. Otherwise, you go to the other side and go ahead and pull a link off of there. Um, so, I believe this is the one that we took off. Yeah. Or maybe not. I don't know. I can't tell anymore. So, it's a good idea to pay attention to which one you removed. One, two, three, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's nine there. One, two, three. I have a hard time counting them. One, two, three, four, five, six seven eight so it's odd because i swear that i pulled the link out of this end anyway um we're gonna put the pin back in here a little residue on this from something so And the way I like to do the pins is I just kind of get it in there like that. And I usually use my fingers. You can kind of work it in at an angle. But if you're not careful, you'll do like I did when I first removed it. You'll send it shooting. So it takes a little while to get this to go in there for sure but you can technically do it without any tools so now we have our watch and as we see you know it's still pretty loose so um, you know they say you should be able to put a finger in between well yeah I don't know but I mean, how do you want the watch? You want it to dance around on your wrist, and or you gotta like, you know, rotate it to read it. So 
and you can do the micro adjustment but that's not really going to do enough so you need to remove another pin so anyway i'm not going to film that i'll pull the other pin but you guys get the idea in order to remove a link you need to remove two links and then reinstall one and pull the other one out and you really want to do each side so thanks for watching maybe this will help somebody